Hey guys, welcome back to Kay's Kitchen. So today guys, we will be making some curry conch. All right, so that's what you saw in my white bowl, some curry conch. This is about two pounds of curry conch, all right? So let's come on over here. I'm gonna pick out which wine I wanna uh, drink today with my conch. So since I'm doing a seafood, typically seafood is paired with white wine. So let's come on over here and select which white wine we're gonna go with, okay? Huh, I got some Chardonnay, some different types of Chardonnay. I got some Riesling over there. Oh, I got some more Chardonnay, some Sauvignon Blanc right here. Hmm, let's see, which one do you think I should go with? I think, let's go with the Chateau Michel Chardonnay today, all right? All right. So this is the Chateau Michel 2017. So like I was saying, typically with seafood, you do a white wine with it, right? And it pairs very, very, very well. So here we go. And let's take a taste. Mm. It's so crisp. It's crisp and clean. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start out with putting me some olive oil in my pot. My pot has been getting hot. So this is about a good two tablespoons of some olive oil, or whatever oil you like. Sometimes I cook with olive oil or avocado oil, coconut oil, whatever floats your boat, all right? So I just let the uh, vegetables go ahead and sweat for about two, three minutes, right? And so at this point, I go ahead and I start just adding my blended curry powder in my pot. And I use, for like two pounds of conk, I probably will go with maybe two to three tablespoons of the curry. And... When I say curry blend, if you remember from my shrimp, my curry shrimp video, I use the betta pot curry as well as uh, chief curry or whatever other curry powder you have or just use whatever you like, whatever curry powders you like. Then I go in here and I saute this up for a little bit, cooking out my curry powder some. At this point, I see whether or not I need any more and add it accordingly so... I like like maybe another tablespoon of it. All right. Then I go ahead and I add me some water to this. And it's not a lot of water, just, just some water to this. you pretty much see that it's like some liquid in here but it's not like a lot of liquid 
I'm just pretty much trying to cook the curry out some, as we would say, we're just cooking the curry out some before I add it, um, add the, the, the conk to it. So I'm just cooking it out just a little, maybe about three, four minutes. If yours start getting thick like this, just add a little bit more water to it, you know? A little bit at a time. And the reason I do this is because the conk, once you put the conk in there, it's gonna spring its own water. It's like chicken. Uh, you don't add a lot of water to it because it's gonna spring its own water. So I don't want it to be like thin curry. I want my curry to be thick at the end when it's all said and done. So now at this point, once I got my conk in there and I've stirred them around, you see I had to add a little bit more water to it because it, it just was no liquid whatsoever in there. Now I'm going to add my case seasoning to taste, right? And I'll refer you back to one of my first videos I made so you know what's inside my case seasoning, okay? I got my complete garlic powder, seasoning salt, black pepper, Everything that you would normally use in your pot, I just put it in one bottle. All right, I'm gonna stir them around. Now I'm gonna just taste a little bit of it, see if I need any more. Mmm, oh wow. Good already. Now this is some pimento. That's optional. It's pimento seeds or some people call it allspice, right? And then I cheated. I got some garlic and olive oil. I didn't feel like crushing up garlic, so whatever. Added me some garlic. I love garlic. some parsley to this as well. I'm going to cover up this pot now and then I'm just going to let it sit there on medium high heat or medium heat I should say and let it go ahead and simmer for about 15 minutes I'll come back check on it stir it again uh, taste the gravy see if I need to add anything else to it okay okay guys one thing I forgot to tell you is I have these scotch bonnet ice cubes right so what I do with these is um, I, I cut up some scotch bonnet peppers, put them in some ice tray and some water, and that helps me to have scotch bonnet throughout the whole entire year. So I buy them in a big batch, and instead of just keeping them in the refrigerator, they go bad. Um, so I just came up with this idea to just freeze them in some ice cubes. So then I just pop them in whatever I'm cooking, right? So I'm going to pop a few of them in here. And let it go.
guys. So it's simmering very well. It's thickening up. The last thing I'm going to add to this, it's going to be just a fourth of a cup of butter in there. All right. So I'm gonna let this go for about another 10 minutes and I'm just gonna cut the stove off. And along with this, I'm gonna be making some white rice that I already got going in my rice cooker and some mixed vegetables. All right, just stay put for the finished product. Hey guys, so this is the finished product. We have us uh, some curry kunk here, some white rice and some mixed vegetables. And of course my Chateau Michel Chardonnay. So this was so much fun making guys. Thank you guys again for coming into Kay's Kitchen and cooking with me. Now, if you like the video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, you know, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this station. So whenever I upload any new videos, you will be first to be notified. But please keep in mind also, I am a realtor. Check out my website, Hey realestatelady.com. If you're in the Jacksonville market and you're looking to purchase a home, hit your girl up and come back to Kay's Kitchen and cook with me some more. All right, y'all have a fabulous night. Want to taste some of this? Heck yeah! Come on, come on behind that camera for some of this. Yeah! Mm. This is the good stuff right here. Man, yeah. it's running from me. Mm -mm -mm. And that cook is so dang on tender. Mm. Mm -mm. That's good. Look back in that camera. Just in case I eat all your food. Mm. Mm. That's good, right? That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my baby is thick. Mm hmm.